what's going on guys in today's video we're gonna be um, assembling this micro bitx single uh, paddle keyer uh, that I designed and 3d printed so if you'd like to see how I build it then stay tuned <coughs> This paddle I designed it because I wanted to get um, you know, a little bit of practice in Morse code. Um, this paddle is 3D printed, and what paddles, what this type of paddle are is they have two metal contacts, one here and one here, and then they have another long metal contact, and then these two metal contacts. Um, if I move it this way, um, this one and this one will contact, and then. When they contact, they will send an electrical signal and that will make a certain noise. Um, in Morse code, you have dits and you have dads. Um, so, uh, for instance, for mine, I want this side to be the da and this one to be the dit. This is made um, for the MicroBitX. It's a kit radio that you can buy uh, from India. So, what are the parts that you're going to be needing for this build? You're gonna be needing this um, 3D printed part. Uh, I'm gonna be having it linked in the description below. You're also gonna need two long screws. These are gonna be two 832 screws. Um, this can be bought from Home Depot. We, we're also gonna need three 832nd nuts. And also we're gonna need a smaller 832nd screws. We're also gonna need three washers, which are gonna be all solder point um, to be able to attach wires to this uh, thing. We are also gonna need um, two springs. These are um, they are not needed, but if you wanna get a better performance, you can use uh, springs that fit inside of these um, screws. We're also gonna be using thickness gauges. These are gonna be the part that is in the middle or a single paddle that we're gonna be using for the uh, for this build, and we're gonna be using. Um, a uh, wire that has a 3.5 millimeter jack at the end. This will be allow us to connect it to the radio. Other than that, we need um, the resistors that came with the kit, which is 10k ohm and a 2.2k ohm. We might also need some of these uh, washers. So let's get into building. So to start off, I'm gonna need two resistors, and I'm gonna need. Um, two washers and what I'm gonna be doing is soldering the resistors to the washers themselves. So what we're gonna be doing is taking some pliers and or some cutters and just cutting it basically about 10 millimeters. Next I'm gonna be putting some solder in both the the washer and also the resistor. Now what we're going to be doing is taking the resistor with some pliers and um, soldering it straight to the solder uh, block that we left before. And that should be good. That should be joined in place now. I'm going to do that to the other one as well. What we can do is set them aside for later use. Next we're going to bring back this part. So next I need to just... Um, do the same soldering procedure uh, but I need to solder it to the cable and to do that I need to make sure that the length of wire that I'm gonna be putting in is gonna be enough so yeah it's, about, it's gonna be about enough for what I need it to be so what I want to do is solder this in place here uh, the positive one which is gonna be connected to the tip and it's gonna be then inserted inserted in there and it's gonna be pushed against the um, the paddle that we're gonna be using so this seems to be about the right length so I'm just gonna go ahead and solder it to the to the washer so first I'm gonna tin it and then I'm gonna put some solder in here and then I'm gonna solder it There, so now, now that is soldered in place. Now, what we need to do is 
prepare uh, this for the other parts I need to go in. Uh, the three nuts that we had before, they need to be inserted here, here, and here. So I'm gonna insert one of the nuts here. So now what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna insert this part in here. Well, I first need to insert the thickness gauges and basically just insert it like this until you see that it goes in all the way from that side and it aligns with the hole. As you can see, it aligns now with the hole. Then we're going to take our washer with the wire and place it in there. And then I'm gonna put a screw and I'm gonna tighten it in all the way. There. That should be fine. I left a bunch of holes here, here, and here. Uh, so I could zip tie the wires once um, everything is positioned in place. So to test out whether it is working or fine and if I'm getting conductivity, um, I'm gonna use my multimeter. I can take the tip here and I can touch it to the um, to the metal. And it has conductivity, so that's good. Um, I cut before this uh, piece from the whole wire. And I'm gonna take uh, one or two of the wires and then um, what I'm gonna be doing is um, soldering it to these resistors here. And then those two wires are gonna run down uh, to this black wire and be soldered to the tip of the black wire. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is cut this leg to size. Again, I don't need that much, just about, uh, I don't know, five or 10 millimeters. Then I just need to take out some of this wire. There you go. I think I'm gonna be using the white and the black. I'm gonna need about maybe this length of wire for this part. And then for the other one, I am gonna need about from here to here. Then I'm gonna strip them and, and solder them. So you get the idea. Okay, so I'm back and I soldered these two resistors. Um, this one is gonna go over here. This is gonna be the dot, and this is gonna be the dit. This is a 2.2k again, and this is the 10k. Now the thing is, I need to take these two wires, and they need to come back in here, and then get soldered to this wire over here. And I'm then gonna put some a shrink tubing. Uh, for this one, uh, for this one to cover the resistor and then uh, to cover both of the connections. So now that I'm done soldering and um, shrinking the tubing, I have here my screws that I'm gonna be using for the contacts that contact in each side. I'm using um, longer screws with uh, springs. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is taking a washer, put it through here, and then put a spring. That's just uh, so it has a better contact area uh, back here. Then I'm going to take the other uh, connection here. This one is for the DA. And then I'm going to pass everything like that through here. So this spring over here is going to push against um, this connection over here, but it's also gonna connect electrically everything uh, and then go out and when this gets touched, um, it's gonna produce a noise. Now, if I connect this like that and I push against one, you can see how the resistance changes. So 2.2, and then if I push the other side, it should say 10. So that means that the, the, this um, paddle is working. Uh, I was able to put some zip ties uh, here, here, and one here, and here. And 
I put a knot here so when the wire will pull on the zip tie it will not slip because um, the knot will catch it um, that way if, if it gets pulled uh, none of the wires or the resistors will get damaged um, now what I'm gonna show you is uh, if you use a little bit of electrical tape you should be able to um, make a little place where your fingers can rest so I cut two pieces of um, tape and I'm gonna be putting them on the paddle here so I'm making sure that um, this uh, starting point is on the edge and then I just go around and around and that should be good then we add a little bit more on this side over here I can come and trim it a little bit more here um, and that should be it um, this just make it makes it comfortable once you're operating because you're not hitting the metal or the edges of the metal itself you just hit in the, the tape so I'll say um, this is good um, we should go now and test it out we should give it a test okay so here I have my radio I have the keyer that um, we made before and my radio is the micro bit X I just changed the settings on the on the radio to be an iambic key here which is the one that this one is it's not a straight key it's an iambic I guess it's connected to my speakers that are on the other side of the room I can go ahead and connect the um, keyer to the front so let's test it and let's see if I can do some uh, Morse code here I am going to try and call CQ uh, uh, something like that and then I can say my call sign which is uh, but other than that that should be it uh, thank you guys for watching and um, if you like one of these ones uh, the link is gonna be in the description below to a Thingiverse file and you can um, download it print it and then assemble it Thank you guys for watching and um, have a good day.